somebody also told me something which I kept uh, very big attention to because that fellow that I saw there with four legs, that was not a horse. That was an athlete. So I started seeing the horses as athletes. So my function was how could I improve, like in other sports, the way that you put on the athletes, that the way that they dress, the way that in order to get a better performance. And for that point of view, we developed uh, several paths, always thinking about the horse. Now, two years, I think it was two years ago, we were at a show in England called Olympia. <laughs> and uh, there we saw two things that called our attention. The rest was nothing new, but two things. One was the helmet camera that uh, Peter Fletcher <coughs> asking is <coughs> using it. And uh, the other was a vest that if you fall from the horse, mm -hmm. boom, yeah. that fits up. <laughs> and I said, gee, what a good idea. But then I thought it over, and uh, we were with uh, Philip Dutton, and I was telling him, Philip, I saw this in England, really nice thing, the pumps up, etc. But would it be better to have something that, so you guys would not fail in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, that could help. <laughs> <laughs> well, something. let me then, uh, let me see what I can do for you guys, what we can do to help you not to fall from the horse, to ride better, ride safety. And uh, he told me, well, there are two things that should improve. One is uh, make sure that my saddle will not move, because if I knew that my saddle was always on places supposed to be, that would help me. And the other thing, if by any chance I could ride with my legs closer to the horse, a little bit instead of like that, like that, is a much more stable position. So, based on that, we developed our line of pads called Secure. And what the Secure has, <coughs> has non-slip material in, in the part that touches the horse, non-slip material when it touches the, the saddle. Now, here has nothing to be able to ride with your legs closer together. And also what we did is use uh, materials because the horses, it's like an engine. An uh, engine in a car, it starts heating up. And in order to heating up, you have to cool it down in the, with water, radiator, and all that stuff. Now, the horse, as humans, the way that nature made us to cool off is by sweating. You sweat and you have to evaporate. And this is the problem that I found with the, the cotton pads, because cotton has a tendency to absorb a lot of sweat, but it doesn't evaporate, it just stays there like a sponge. When, in this case, uh, this material allows a lot of evaporation, and uh, so it, what it does, it cools off the muscle of the horse. This was uh, some advantage. Then also, what we did is, on the part of the wither, we put in our frictionless system. So although these glues, the wither, yep. doesn't rub the horse. And then we made the shape. And then also we made this shape because we were discussing this, trying to have the square pad, not uh, the square pad, it's okay, but if we have a smaller surface, you have more air coming to the horse. Mm -hmm. We thought about doing like we did for the, the hunters. But the problem with the hunters is that they don't have a place for the logos for the sponsors. So this is a mixture. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a place or to a flag or whatever. Was a, they had a show in France uh, in Pau uh, lately. And uh, one of the girls that was using our pad, the breastplate at the second jump broke. Mm -hmm. And we have the video, this is the, and even here you can see, mm -hmm. you can see the breastplate here. Mm -hmm.
rencontre des difficultés encore sur ce parcours de cross un petit peu euh, chahuté là sur le jardin, l'obstacle du jardin à la française. Joe Meyer, lui, vient de prendre l'option courte sur l'obstacle numéro 3, 4 du tournant des poneys. Et pour Wendelin Fer, le trou de bombe maintenant des haras nationaux. Avec une dimanche très concentré, les oreilles en avant. Pas du tout ennuyé par ce petit problème de harnachement avec le collier de chasse qui s'est eh, détaché sous la sangle. Et allez, la grosse table bien franchie à l'instant par Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn Fer maintenant pour la fin de son parcours. La jeune cavalière française, septième ici même l'année dernière. Et qui va clôturer avec un parcours sans faute sur les obstacles. Malgré pas mal de, de petits soucis et de problèmes qui se sont succédés. Elle termine en 11 minutes 2. Il n'y a pas vraiment pas de quoi rougir. 10 points 80 de pénalité seulement autant. Bon parcours ici. Et avec ce collier de chasse qui s'est cassé en tout début. Mais ça ne l'a pas empêché d'aller au bout. Allez, bravo Gwendolyn pour... Euh...